The reason why I'm holding this salt is the symbolism of seasoning. Like, you know, when you reach out to your family members and you tell them about exercising or you tell them about eating right or you tell them about their business or you tell them about a lot of things that can help them and they're not listening to nothing that you say. Why won't they listen? It's because it doesn't taste good to them. They don't want to listen to it too raw. It's too much. So the same way you got to season your food to make it taste good, the same thing you got to do with your messages when you're giving it to somebody. Mm. Somebody want to ingest it, but they can't because it doesn't taste good to them. So if you just go up to your friend and be like, you really got to lose weight, they may need to lose weight, but you can't deliver it in that way because they're not going to take what you're giving them. So that's the same thing about the seasoning. So you got to reposition this. If we all talking about moving forward and progressing as a community or as a family or as a whatever it is, you and your best friend or you and your boyfriend, girlfriend, if you're talking about moving forward and progressing, you got to learn the language that they're willing to listen to in order to progress. So you have to season it sometimes. You can't give them the raw truth. You can't be like, you fat, you need to lose weight. Mm. Nobody's going to listen to that. They can feel offended. And then they end up like really ignoring you. So think about it from that angle. If you're trying to make things get better and that's truly, truly your purpose, I want things to be better. Then think about how you're going to season your message in order for somebody to ingest it. 